guys, Sharina from Sassy Seamstress, and in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to make these Black Widow spider bites. In the new Age of Ultron movie, they started implementing some blue lighting effect into Black Widow's costume, so I'm actually going back and redoing my spider bites, and that's what we'll be looking at this tutorial. So I'm using these foam darts that you can get at any kid's um, section. I got these at Walmart. And I made this little stand. It's just toothpicks on cardboard that I kind of hot glued in. Made it easier for gluing and spray painting. Um, and I'm using Mod Podge for my glue. And I'm basically just going through and doing several layers. I think I ended up doing like four layers um, on each one. And it's just a nice, thick, generous coating of the Mod Podge. And this kind of gives you a nice smooth surface when you're painting them. And it also seals the foam so that the spray paint doesn't actually dissolve any of the, the foam product. So with each one, I just do a couple layers. I stick it back on the stick and um, let it dry. It took about, I think, like a couple hours. Alright, so here's after I spray painted them. I'm using Krylon, it's a matte black, and then a clear gloss finish. So here I'm showing you how I'm finishing off the ends. Um, so I'm using this, the unfinished one, and I'm just using a really thick, generous coating one time of Mod Podge. Um, and you just make it just a nice thick top and let it dry. It takes quite a while to dry, but when you're done, you have a nice sealed end. Um, and then for convenience, I'm just using black nail polish, but you can really use, um, you, can, you can go back through and spray paint it black and then do a clear coat over it again too, but this was just really simple. So this is a 2 inch pre-measured um, elastic band that I cut, I believe it was 11 inches for my wrist, and what I'm doing is just uh, giving a good 1 inch seam allowance and um, putting it in place and then I'll go ahead and sew it. So this is after I finished sewing it, um, I did both ends just to give it a little bit of extra support. So this is the actual EL wire, um, and I bought it, it's, I think it was like actually 10 feet, and I bought the battery powered separate, and that's just me showing you how it works. And I'll actually be wrapping it around each individual foam um, bullet. So this is me showing you. Um, it, it was It's pretty tedious, but luckily the wire is flexible. Um, and it actually will stay in, in the shape that you form, which kind of makes it easier. But you just kind of have to be patient um, and work your way through it. Sometimes you need to make sure that the wire isn't twisting because then that makes it funny how it lays um, on the foam. And then just as you go, just take your time and hot glue or um, really, I guess you could use whatever glue you, you like. I just found um, hot glue to be the easiest. It's quick. Um, since it uh, or it dries quickly, which makes it a lot easier to work with. So this is me coming towards the end, um, and I've kind of been layering the wire as like one kind of goes on top of the other one um, with each bullet as it goes around. Uh, the other thing is make sure that you are doing it in a circle um, and that you're not just doing it straight. Um, this kind of prevents gaps from happening with the wire. Um, that you may not realize until all of a sudden you're wrapping it around your wrist and you're like, wow, that doesn't quite fit the same. So this is the completed piece. And um, at the end, you can actually just cut the wire and it'll still work. Um, there's like there's there's no problem with um, with having to like solder it or anything like that. It's it's fine. And um, I'll plug it back into the battery and show you. There you go, it's working. So then the next part is actually just to glue it onto the elastic band. Um, and <clears throat> for this part, for the top layer, I glue right along where that wire is going. And I'm just gonna go ahead and use hot glue again. I'm just making sure that it, it fits right before I start hot gluing. But I just do a nice generous helping of the hot glue and then just kind of slowly press it in uh, at that the right at the top edge of the um, elastic band. So I chose to actually leave a little bit of a space, but it's up to you at the end of it. It just made it easier to slip it on uh, when I was done. 
So I'm using E6000 glue for attaching the uh, bullet to the elastic and I'll just use a nice helping of it and just hold it in place as it, as it dries. Alright guys, so this is the final completed look of the new Black Widow Spider Bites using the EL wire um, lighting effects and uh, I think it looks pretty awesome. Alright guys, so I hope that helped. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, and if you guys have any comments or suggestions on how to improve these spider bites, um, leave them down below in the comments. Um, you can also follow me on Facebook and Google+.